Okay, today we're going to look at the new What's on East Lothian database, which is uh, hosted on our behalf by the list. Um, this was an, initi an initiative by the uh, East Lothian Area Partnership. Uh, we felt that uh, quite often events in East Lothian were missed because um, people didn't know they were on. So to access this database, you simply go to your browser and type in the address bar what's on eastlothian.com and hit enter and that takes you to our home page and this is the what's on East Lothian logo this is a customized uh, home page on the list and uh, when you uh, arrive here it will default to your present location in this case uh, I'm in Dunbar at the moment and it's automatically detected that um, and you can set the various distances of your search uh, we'll set it to 10 miles so we're now looking at any events that are on any Slothian within 10 miles of Dunbar this top section here allows you to customize your search so obviously you can change the uh, search location here you can put your own town in there uh, you can search for a particular event uh, you can also refine it by dates uh, and times and then below these are the main categories of the search so for instance uh, we're looking uh, in a generalized way at events within East Lothian but you can also narrow this down by for instance selecting the music category uh, when you do that there's various other possibilities here that you can search on so let's look at uh, folk music and now we see uh, the Dunbar traditional music festival events coming up here um, you can also search on days out for instance and various possible days outs will be displayed or if you want something specifically for kids and then once again that will refine your search so there's lots of possibilities for refining your search um, possibly you don't want a, an event as such you want to investigate places that you can visit in the county so if you click on places uh, we've now got a list of uh, various places within 10 miles of Dunbar all sorts of different possibilities there so there's no end of possibilities there for searching uh, if you simply want to find out something that uh, you might be interested in in using or visiting but most importantly uh, for those event organi organizers or people who run various clubs and societies uh, what we want to try and do is to encourage you to post your events on here and to do that you simply click, click the uh, yellow button here to add an event now if you haven't yet registered with the list you have to first of all do so by putting in your email address and selecting a password then you can actually sign in uh, now you can put your event title in there uh, I'll just put in some random characters just so that we can get to the next set of menus um, if there is something similar to the event that you've listed uh, you'll see possible matches here but if it isn't one of those you click this button here saying no it's not one of those events and now you're into the main uh, menu for listing your event uh, you start off with the event title and then you can give a short description of your event uh, and then uh, you put in the actual venue so um, quite a lot of these venues are already listed in the list database so for instance if we start putting in something about Dunbar uh, we've got um, well Belhaven Brewery for instance um, we can put in a date a start time and an end time and then tick these various uh, possibilities whether it's uh, a single event or whether it occurs uh, daily or monthly or weekly 
and then if it's something that you um, charge for entry you can put the um, uh, the price of entry here or if it's a free event just tick the button there for free uh, and then quite importantly here you need to tick the categories that this event refers to so for instance if it's something to do with a, it's a charity event for instance or a community event uh, it might be uh, something that's uh, a good day out or something that's um, to do with learning. There's various possibilities there that you could you could tick and also down here you've got various other events uh, possibilities that you could uh, also tick so possibly food and drink or something uh, and then if none of these particular uh, categories or tags are suitable you can type in additional keywords that will assist in searches and moving down the form you can put your contact details in here with an email address for general inquiries phone numbers and the like and then if you have a, a website you simply put in the uh, web address in here um, now if your location or your event uh, has a suitable image you can upload an image from your computer you can choose a file uh, when you do so uh, these image files need to be at least this size here 640 by 480 pixels and less than 12 megabytes and then any other additional instructions can go in here and then finally you click this button here to send your event to the list now they have moderators who look at all these events and uh, it takes uh, two or three days before they've had a chance to see them all and approve them and after that your event will be listed uh, on the list database and then when you go to the what's on page again uh, it will appear under the various events uh, that are listed so uh, it's a great facility it's free of charge to the user it's uh, been set up as I said between East Lothian area partnerships and the list themselves it has been customized to our own requirements because uh, normally the list which is a nationwide organization they list events all over the country they wouldn't bother with small community events and it was our uh, desire of course that everything in East Lothian from the smallest to the largest could be included so that's part of our contract with the list so it doesn't matter how small your event is if it's for example a um, uh, cake sale for the brownies or if it's a big event something that's happening for instance at the uh, Seabird Centre in North Berwick or something of that nature however small or however big it is uh, the list will accept your posting and it will all appear here and uh, what we're hoping is that this will become a one-stop shop for all East Lothian events so whatever your interest is if you come to this page here uh, you can do various searches to find out whatever it is that interests you. Also I'm uh, looking at this on a desktop PC but one of the beauties of the list uh, website is that it's fully scalable so whether you're looking at uh, this page on a PC or on a laptop or on a tablet computer or possibly on a smartphone it will scale to suit the size of your particular screen. So that's basically it. It will uh, uh, it will be a great facility for everyone in East Lothian but only if the event organizers do make use of it and do upload their various events so that we can all take advantage of this. Thanks for watching.